Gales, tidal waves could cause more flood misery this weekend, the Environment Agency has warned, capping a month that's already been in many areas the wettest January for 100 years or more. It's been so bad in Somerset that the army are now poised to help people left cut off for weeks. The government's emergency response committee met again today as ministers were accused of dithering in the face of a major flooding incident. In a moment, we'll be asking whether more could have been done to ease the pressure on floodplains. First, though, Jane Dodge is in one of the worst hit areas. Jane. Well, John, there's been one piece of good news for the people of the Somerset levels today. It hasn't rained. Spirits have also been lifted by the fact that this flooding, which is a month old now, is finally getting national attention, highlighted by the fact that David Cameron has himself said that he'll rule nothing out in trying to bring some help to those people affected. The army remains on standby tonight. The county council for now has decided it will continue to use the emergency services on the ground. And for the second time in two days, COBRA, the government's uh, emergency committee, is meeting tonight to decide how best to help those thousands of people whose lives continue to be affected by these floods. We were told the cavalry were coming. Um, and they came, all two of them. Their mission, unclear. Their timing, some argued, a little late. I mean, at the moment, physically uh, on the ground, it, it's literally just the, the, the two of us at the moment. Like, so we, we only received the task in uh, late last night. Um, and then the, um, a number of options being looked at with uh, specifically troops in the, in the local area. And it, and it very much depends on, on what we're asked to do. As it turned out, the local authority decided the army weren't needed for now. For those living here, what was once a novel way to travel is starting to wear a little thin. For the last four weeks, this has been the only way in and out of Muchany. Now, finally, there's good news for the local residents here. A personal commitment from the Prime Minister, David Cameron, that dredging of the two rivers causing the flooding will now take place. That's for the future, but in the short term, more bad weather is forecast. People in Somerset had felt abandoned. There was disappointment that when a minister, Owen Paterson, finally came to see for himself on Monday, nothing seemed to happen. David Cameron's intervention yesterday came as a big surprise to local politicians. Owen Paterson got heckled, didn't he, on Monday. Do you think that focused minds in the government that some sort of action was needed and needed now? I'm sure it did, and I'm sure it's part of uh, the, the lobbying and uh, the, the information that we've been taking back to government for such a long time. I'm sure that had an impact. I'm sure it was taken note of. Why has it taken so long? Uh, well, a very good question, and some people I'm sure would say that if we were living in Surrey rather than Somerset, it would have got through rather more quickly. Back in Muchelney, the only way to the next village of Thorny is in a taxi run by volunteers from a charity. Changed it to a Carolyn Roach runs a bed and breakfast business here. She wasn't flooded, but she's now looking after 13 people who were. What should have been done then, as far as you're concerned, and by who? Uh, the Environment Agency should have been dredging the rivers, looking after the river banks, um, maintaining sluice gates, um, and all, all of that work that the drainage boards and the Rivers Authority used to do. Rod McDonough is one of the 13 people now living here. Him and his wife and two young children had only been in their home for six weeks before they were flooded. We tried to reduce the sort of panic effect, especially in front of the children. But it's upsetting, it's slightly traumatising. I mean, the children seem fine, um, but then the first night here, we left them playing in the living room and they used the cushions from the sofas to build a flood defence in the living room door frame. So clearly, you know, they're four and two, so they're not too young, but it's had an impact. 25 square miles of the Somerset levels are still underwater. For one man who used to drain the rivers here, David Cameron's commitment to dredging in the future has come far too late. I think that uh, the mentality of some of these people that sit in cities uh, that probably see the odd river now and again is not quite the same as, as, as those people that are out here and amongst it all the time. 
dredging won't start until the water levels here have fallen. With more rain forecast over the weekend, that's unlikely to be any time soon. Jane Dodge, Channel 4 News, Somerset.